Hey, welcome back. What I want to talk about in this video is Wi-Fi security, and I'm actually going to break this up over the next couple of weeks into two or three different videos because there's a lot of different ways to skin this cat. But just know that Wi-Fi security is important, and we're going to talk about it from a public side, you know, if you're providing public Wi-Fi services or if you're providing private Wi-Fi services, you know, for your users or if you're maintaining wireless networks for other companies. The first thing that I want to do in this video is I want to show you why this was kind of brought up. You know, I'm on, uh, I'm on vacation and I walk out in the hallway and bam, there's a Unify AP staring me right in the face and I'm like, oh, this is, <clears throat> you know, this is awesome, you know, let me check it out and see what's going on. So I uh, got a little curious. Now, I didn't, full disclosure, I did not try to log into any of this equipment because I feel that would have been, that would have been wrong, but I am drafting letters to management of all five of the places that I tested while on vacation, and every single one of them let me see their infrastructure. So, <laughs> what this is, Here's a screenshot. I can see every single access point that this first hotel had. This is every access point in the entire property. And the Wi-Fi didn't really work all that well. I think that they need to go back and visit the design. That's a different conversation. But I could see all of their access points. Now, Maybe sometimes you can, maybe sometimes you can't. I have seen on a scan where you can see all of the access points. That's not really... Well, and, and actually, I wasn't given an IP address in this subnet. So I don't know that I should have been able to see those if it was configured correctly. Uh, that's not really the, the troublesome one. This, I can see their entire AirMax infrastructure. That's, that's kind of an issue. And why is that kind of an issue? Because then I was able to bring up one of the one of the login screens, and I was actually able to bring up login screens for all of those devices, and that that's bad. This particular um, city that we were in, they get you know over the Fourth of July weekend, they told me there was one hundred and fifty thousand tourists in town so you know take that and then whatever however long the vacation season is you know they, they have millions of people I'm sure and probably this hotel has you know tens of thousands of people staying at it you know throughout the, the, the season so this is a problem now with the way everything else is set up it wouldn't surprise me if they used UBNT UBNT it just it would not surprise me at all. So this is not good. And so then when you start looking at some of the network scans, we'll go back here. You know, and you can start seeing every client connected to the Wi-Fi. You know, this is not this is not good. You know, you want to have that client isolation in place. So not only do you not want people to be able to get to your infrastructure but you don't want them to be able to see other clients either. And this was a speed test that I did. And uh, they are they were using, you know, rate limiting. So we were only able to pull three meg down and one meg up. So they did they did do something there. You know, here's here's more of it where, you know, we couldn't resolve names and you can see you can see me, but I mean I could touch every single one of these clients. Every single one of them. Now this is a different site, but they still have public Wi-Fi. Uh, you can see they got a Pal Palo Alto firewall at the head end. Not 100% sure which access points they were using, but I still shouldn't be able to see the clients. So, and here I am. Uh, this is a different site, uh, but I'm pinging another workstation. Here's another site that we were at. You know, they obviously have a Cisco infrastructure, but then you can start seeing, I start seeing all kinds of other things on their network. And this 
particular location, um, I wouldn't expect this out of them. But like I said, I didn't try anything. I was just discovering what was there, what my phone could see, what my laptop could see, uh, because I feel it would be unethical for me to try to log into that equipment without management giving me that blessing. And I don't recommend that you do that either. So you can see, and here I am pinging more equipment. Once again, there's that Air Max infrastructure. And then when you get to a site that's configured correctly, and now I'm going to go back and double check all of my sites, but when you get to a site that's configured correctly, this is, you know, there were eight people on this public Wi Fi hotspot, and I can only see myself. So this is, this is how it should look when I do a scan and I shouldn't be able to see the infrastructure so over the next few videos and they're gonna be they're gonna be kinda hanging out there they're not gonna be right in a row I'm gonna do the local firewall video and there's a couple other videos I wanna get out sooner rather than later so over the next week or two we're, we're gonna touch on all the different places you know to make sure that we're, we're getting Wi-Fi set up securely so uh, one quick thing that you can do is you can log into your Unify controller for wireless networks and where it says guest network then the clients are actually firewalled from being able to get to these subnets had they checked that little box in their Unify controller at that first property I should not have been able to see any of that so well I may have seen the APs depending on on that but if they weren't in the same subnet as me so if they were using VLANs for that that guest Wi-Fi I probably would not have been able to see that so uh, we are gonna go over a lot of that so hang in there the videos are gonna be kinda spread out but there's a lot to the security side there's a lot of different ways to configure it I do have a bunch of other videos coming up I'm not gonna start leaking content yet but if you like the video, give a thumbs up. Please sub subscribe. Subscribe. Please comment and share. And we will see you at the next video.